The Dying Light 2 official 4K gameplay video is here, and it's freaking amazing. If that's all you needed to know, click off this video now. If not, stay tuned for the next five to ten minutes to hear me talk about absolute nonsense. By the way, there will be spoilers in this video, so if you haven't seen the gameplay, click the link in the description below. And if you have seen the video, let's get into it. What is going on YouTube? My name is Short Circuit. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and hearing me talk about absolutely nothing. But if you're a gamer, hear me talk about absolutely everything. Dying Light 2 just released their 4K official gameplay video and it was amazing. So first of all, I just want to point out the fact that I'm a huge fan of the first Dying Light 2. Or Dying Light 2. No. The, set, the first one without the two. I feel like this is a huge step forward, not only in the fact that it's a, it's it's pretty much a step in the right direction because now instead of just zombies, for the most part, we're also dealing with factions, other people. Because right, everything, everybody would, you know, start to, you would assume everybody would start to settle, start to set up camps, start to, um, you know, get some land and get some power, right? So that's what they do in this gameplay video. So we have, first of all, we have the Colonel. The Colonel is like, apparently, I guess, just I'm just going off of what I hear in this gameplay, right? So the Colonel is apparently in charge of like the pumps and the water and, and he has this gigantic castle and why wouldn't he? He's in charge of the freaking water. Then we also have Aiden who is the main character who we will be playing as and I like Aiden. I feel like Aiden um, is, is definitely um, kind of like a wild a wild child really like he kind of just lets his emotions um, control him and uh, kind of guide him and I really really enjoy that now getting on to the gameplay itself first of all I get it it was in 4k so it's gonna look a little bit better than most people playing the game um, the gameplay itself looks amazing and then you also have um, the situations where you the parkour uh, they, they apparently they added twice as many parkour moves which is fantastic so you see um, Aiden jumping and controlling and, and, and just going all over this uh, city or this this barren wasteland if you will towards this van or this truck that he's chasing down now after this event that has occurred but anyway the video looks fantastic we see Aiden jumping across building after building dive bombing and drop kicking zombies through through windows through through boards off buildings he even takes a zombie and rides him all the way down and lands on top of him to cushion his fall if that's a new move that's fantastic it looks like it will be and i'm excited to use that one um and then he also falls into um what looks like and i i'm pretty sure it is a new dark zone so the new dark zone it looks like that you have all these enemies you know that are these these crazy zombies hanging out in just these really dark areas and what's cool about this was you were so sure he was going to catch up to this pickup or this truck or whatever and he fell through this skyscraper all the way to the bottom of it now it was kind of cool when you saw him fall to the dark zone um you, you saw him progressively it got light it got a little bit less light a little bit less light and then it was just completely dark so it was like a staggering effect of like you're now falling through the skyscraper and it's getting darker and darker as you go down and then the vice you know vice versa happened when you were down there and it was just like you were it was this intense moment where he was trying to run away from these these zombies in this dark zone using a uv light using a uv flare um you know and, and all that kind of stuff and it was really really cool um to see that kind of action and then you have you know as he's running away from these zombies he's working his way out and then you see the opposite so it gets dark and then it gets lighter and lighter until you're in the safe zone again and like as soon as he got on top of that skyscraper my mind instantly thought to well there's a whole horde of zombies down there and it's dark and just the thought of that was really eerie to me and really creepy and it kind of just encapsulated me more into what was going on and then anyway we get to the we get to the situation where um we finally get into the truck right you know you have the choice of either killing the guy that's driving the truck you know you want you let to let your emotions roll you or do you want to kind of use your cunning and say you know just drive this truck and hold him and threaten him um and so when you finally get to the castle you realize that you get into the castle much easier using this this guy who's driving the truck i forget his name um but he uses uh, a code to just open the door for you whereas if you would have killed him i imagine it would have been a lot harder um 
to get into the castle itself. It looks like there's a lot of different choices in this game this time around that can affect a whole heap of, of how you play the game and, and how and what goes on in the game, which is amazing, and I like that. Um, it gives a new idea of creativity and uh, situational awareness and choice and freedom to the character and the player itself. Um, so, once we get into the castle, we're met again with um, the, the goons, the colonel's goons, I guess. I, don't, I think it's the colonel's goons. We get into the castle. We finally, we finally find the colonel. He gives us this sob story about, um, you know, there's something else going on with the water rights and can't you see you're being played kind of, kind of speech, right? So then, again, we get another choice of do we want to listen to the colonel or do we want to turn on these water pumps? Well, the situation turns, you know, the guy's playing the game. Of course, we're going to turn on the water pumps. But then we come to find out that the colonel was right and that the, the, the idea to turn on the water pumps and to get the water flowing was just to make his people turn on him and then have our people rush in there and just murder everyone. At the end of the video, the craziest thing at the end of the video, and this really gave me chills, was he was, the colonel was actually trying to flood the area because these new zombies were he was trying to keep these new zombies at bay right i guess they were underground or something so he kept them flooded kept the ground flooded so they wouldn't be able to get out now the water the ground's not flooded anymore these zombies are coming out so um and these zombies have like spikes coming out of their arms it's crazy that's the only thing we see at the end of the video um it, really at the end of all this guys i think this is a great uh, looking game um i enjoy i enjoy the parkour uh system of it i enjoy the fact that we're still going to get those crazy looking weapons in the beginning he has like a a shock uh like a taser type knife thing that he just turns on um you hear the battery you know and he just cuts off this dude's head um I love those kinds of weapons in the first game, and I'm, I'm glad they're coming back. Um, it seems like it's just going to be just as gory. I'm so interested in what the night is going to be like. Um, I can't wait. Uh, I'm hoping they at least put out a video uh, showing what the nighttime gameplay is going to be like or what you have to encounter during the night because that was the craziest thing about the first one, in my opinion. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the first one. I'm definitely getting this game. I'm going to try it out. I'm not pre-ordering. I'm not doing that. I never. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> um, I am going to play the second one. I'm going to play the hell out of it, and uh, I just can't wait. But anyway, that's my thoughts on the game. Um, I would say I'm so excited for this game. The gameplay looked amazing. Um... It, it was obviously in 4k i get that but it was beautiful and the scenery was awesome we have castles now which which well a castle and the landscape itself just looked completely different and totally changed and on the rooftops it was like sprawling with life crazy so that was my thoughts on the vi uh the video guys the gameplay whatever you want to call it um thank you so much for watching and if you guys do like this content go ahead and subscribe follow me on twitter do all that nonsense um it doesn't really matter because we're all gonna die anyway you know what i mean thanks so much for watching guys peace